what is up dudes and dudettes it has been a hot minute since i have even ever made a video and i'm here to tell you why later so what's up everybody it's super crazy nice outside today i just got off work a little bit ago and i just was like you know what it's too damn nice outside to not go for a ride so that is what I'm doing. Not sure where I'm going, but I'm gonna go right around for a good little while. That's for sure. I got some news for all y'alls and shit. Come on, Philly, you can do it. Um, so yeah, lots of news. I don't know if I'll get it all in one video, but we will try. Oh, another biker dude. Oh, fuck you too then, dickhead. You think you're better than me? I'll smoke you. You don't want none. Yeah, anyways. <laughs> um, so, let's go ahead and start with the newest thing. The main reason why I, you have not been seeing any videos for like the last six, seven, eight months. All right? So, the whole reason behind it is I got another new job. I am still out of prison. I'm at the one next door. So instead of working at Chuckawalla Valley State Prison, I'm, I'm working at Ironwood State Prison now, the uh, next door. I left my job with Cal PAA as a supervisor because it was turned into a whole lot of bullshit. And I was not having that shit no more. Um, I got about a year and a half experience as a supervisor, so that's cool. And it's working out for me so far. We're with the new, how I got the new job. <laughs> it's what actually helped me get the new job. Um, so my new job is I'm a correctional cook now. So basically what I do is I work in the kitchens on the uh, on the yards and the inmates cook all the food and serve the food and I basically just sit there and make sure it's cooked properly, the temperatures are right and it's all taken care of. They don't steal shit and they take care of business, okay? So that's basically it. The job is super crazy. I mean, way easier than I ever thought it was going to be. And then um I get paid way more and plus the overtime i've been working average 80 to 110 hours plus of overtime every month you know raking in like three thousand dollar overtime checks and stuff and a whole bunch of and then my regular pay is good you know so it's it's nice the wife works there too so we're doing we're doing pretty good now but that's basically what has kept me uh not making videos because i've been on i'm still on probation i got about 30 days left uh, March 7th is my uh, six month probation time when it ends so that's why for like the last six something months you know at least prior to this but uh I've been just working so hard fucking to do stuff you know and it's all paid off I I have all my credit cards are paid off now all I owe money on is this freaking the MT-09 and stuff and uh you know I got a new truck I know you guys a bunch if you're following me on Instagram you saw a picture of my new truck I just got I bought a 2021 Chevy Silverado uh, Trail Boss. That freaking truck is so dang nice. I've been wanting a truck for a long time so I could put the bike in, take it, you know, out to certain places and then go riding and stuff so I don't have to ride it all the way out where I'm going even though it's never been a problem. But, you know, I could put the Grom in the back of the truck now and drive it out to places and go ride it like meets where Grom meets are at and stuff. So it'll be dope. Um, but yeah, I've had some exciting stuff going on. <laughs> new job, new truck, freaking paid off all my debt. Freaking life is good right now. Other than uh, had some health issues about a week and a half ago at work. Um, I'm getting old, folks. This is what happens when you get old. I'm about to be 39 here in March. And uh, so basically, you're going to get to the story. I was at work and um, just out of nowhere, I just started feeling like super funky. Like just feeling like kind of out of it, dizzy. Um, my chest was hurting. It wasn't like COVID stuff or anything. So I wasn't worried about none of that. But uh, I, I just felt so weird. It's kind of hard to explain how funky I felt, you know? Um, but I called my supervisor and I was like, hey, I was like, I don't feel very good right now. I was like, this and this is how I'm feeling. He's like, I was like, I just want to go home. And he's like, well, I can't let you just go home when you're like that, you know, liability stuff for him and everything as a supervisor. So I'm like, okay. I was like, so he's like, let me call our, the central health. It's like the main hospital area for the prison. It's like, let me call them, talk to a registered nurse and see what they got to say, what to do. 
So about five minutes later, I'm talking to them. They call me on my work phone, on the phone in the office, that in the yard I'm at, and they'll tell me, oh, you gotta hit your alarm, and all the officers will come get you, and they'll take you to medical on the yard. I'm like, oh crap, here we go, big old show, you know, but I'm feeling like, I'm feeling funky at this point, so I'm like, fuck it, you know? I'm like, I'm gonna hit the fucking alarm. So they come rushing to my medical assistance, you know? So I, uh, I'm looking around for my officer because we have an officer that's with us in there when we have like 25 inmates. Uh, so I'm looking around for him. I'm like, shit, where the hell is he before I hit the alarm? You know, so he, he knows it's not something like I'm not getting jumped by the inmates or anything, you know? So I'm looking around, I'm just like, oh my God, man. I'm like, where the hell is he? And I'm like, fuck it. I started feeling worse. And so I hit it. And then like a few seconds later, I see him coming out the bathroom, fucking blowing his fucking pants up because he was in the middle of a dookie and stuff. And now he has to respond to the alarm in the kitchen <laughs> and stuff. And I'm like, hey, hey we're, we're good, man. And I was like, and then like I look at the front door of the chow hall and like 15 officers just flood in. They're coming in because I got a bunch of inmates in there. So a lot of them come in. They're ready to freaking spray them down with the fucking the pepper spray and shit just in case, you know. So they come in and I'm like, no, no, they're good. They're good, you know and uh, i was like it's me and they're all what's wrong so i let them know so they radioed over uh, you know a code one medical emergency with the staff staff down and all that and now i know when they say staff down all the rest of my co-workers that are on all, all the other yards can all hear it over the radio that on charlie yard staff went down and they know i'm over there so they're all worried now <laughs> you know and uh so they come in i let them know what's up how i'm feeling and they take me over to medical right right around the corner and uh, so I get over there, right? And they're sitting there asking me all kinds of questions, how I feel, blah, 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 all that stuff, right? So they put the blood pressure machine thing around my arm. That shit read 173 was my blood pressure. That is, if you know anything about like the levels of blood pressure, what's good, what's bad, and what's like totally not good at all, <laughs> uh, mine was far exceeding what they consider bad, like really bad. Okay, um, so like 120 and lower, between like 100 and 120 is normal for a person. That's like in the green. Uh, in the yellow, you got, you know, from 130 to 140. And then in the orange, which you start going into like what they call hypertension, which is not good for your heart. Um, you get into that, that's 140 to 150. And then you got the red zone um, where that's 150 plus, And that is like super bad, okay? Mine was probably like far beyond red because you know what I'm saying it was 173. So that's not not good at all. Not one bit. So they're like they looked right at me, they're like, you need to go to the freaking hospital. And I'm like, I'm like, don't you dare take me to the one in town where we live. They're all wild. I was like, cause that hospital sucks ass. And I was like, if you're gonna take me to a hospital, you better fly me out of here and take me down to mine down in Palm Springs. And they're all, what? Um, no, but you got to go see someone. It doesn't matter where you're going. I was like, no, it really does matter. I was like, you go to that hospital here. I was like, you ever been to it? They're all, no, because not everyone that works at the prisons lives here in Blythe. So uh, I guess I had all nurses and RNs that were working at the time that all lived out of town. So they don't know about this hospital, um, how it is being treated there. So I'm just like, no, no, no. I was like, they will kill people. And they're like, well, what do you mean? And I told them a story about a friend that got bit by a rattlesnake. He had a tourniquet on his left arm, stopping the venom from going anymore, right? Well, when he got in there, they made his elevate his arm into the air and took the tourniquet off, and all the venom rushed into his freaking heart and had him, almost killed him. And so, so I'm like, that's why I don't want to go there, because that place sucks, you know? And they're like, oh, oh, okay, well, you got to do something. They're, they're at least got to monitor you and take care of you. I'm like, no, I'm not going there. I was like, just have my wife come get me, you know? She can come get me, I'll go to the hospital in the morning. I'll take my freaking chances. You know, which I probably shouldn't have. I shouldn't have probably taken my chances, you know, freaking with something seriously going wrong with my heart like that, you know, so. So a couple days go by, I've, well, I, the next day I go see the doctor, all that fun stuff. And then a um, couple days go by, like, so now I can, you know, I'll just turn it into this week. So I've had to start recording my blood pressure readings like four times a day, every day, since that happened back on like the 29th. Um, so my blood pressure is high and my doctor is going to prescribe me blood pressure medication. Uh, I talked to my dad I because they asked me, they're like, do you have a family history of this stuff? I'm like, I don't know. You know, so I talked to my dad. He's like, oh, yeah. He's like, I had it in my late 30s. He's like, all your uncles got it. 
he's like even your grandma everyone he's like you're right in your late 30s he's like he's like you probably got it for sure definitely i'm like well shit <laughs> i'm like that sucks you know so i'm just like man that's a bummer deal you know so i was like about to be 39 i'm still pretty young you know and stuff and i'm having freaking high blood pressure problems hereditary crap that's freaking stupid but uh you know it is what it is so i get my medication here real soon and stuff so they got me on the right one and hopefully it'll fix everything because my blood pressure is like an average like all, every day it's like between like 135 145 like at all the time you know and sometimes it's i i've had one reading that was like 119 so i was like okay there we go but i was all relaxed i was at home and and the job's not stressing me out it's basically all the overtime and all the hours i've been working i've been because like normally we work 168 hours a month or sometimes a little bit more 186 something like that i think it was and then i'm working another 100 you know 90 to 100 every month too in overtime so i'm put a toll on my body i've been doing every single month since i started working there you know so i've been working i've been working my ass off pulling double shifts every day you know for a, quite a while <laughs> and uh so i just need to tone down on all that overtime now and all that stuff since i got everything paid off and the only thing i really owe i gotta pay on is my two car my car my truck and the bike the groms paid off and stuff so um you know but yeah that's kind of what's been going on and so, so i haven't had really time to come out and do any videos i just really felt like it today because it's so perfect out it's like 74 degrees super nice i'm just wearing a sweatshirt and shit freaking super nice out man but uh but yeah so i'm sorry for all the lack of videos um i really want to uh start getting to do them more and stuff especially after uh the end of this month once i pass my probation i'll probably start getting on and i've been getting bored of video games because part of it is i've been playing a lot of video games on my days off too because i'm just so tired uh, i don't really, like feel like getting on the bike and going nowhere too you know because i was riding every day to work anyways so that was part of it too, playing video games, just having fun doing that, relaxing and shit. But I'm getting burnt out on the video games. So I think it's time to start making videos again on my days off. And uh, you know, so, but yeah, uh, it's been it's been awesome getting to talk to you all again. No, it's been a little while, it's been a while. I know, I'm sorry, your boy cruising freaking ditched you a little bit, but not really. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, so. Um, other than that guys stay subscribed uh, I'll have another video again here sometime soon you know um, but yeah so as always it's your buddy Kuzumoto hope you all enjoyed this simple little video just kind of an update on my life what's been going on um, other than that as always if you're not first you're last in the great <laughs> Ricky Bobby <laughs> I fucked it up see what happens when you don't do videos for a while you fuck up how you say stuff but other than that later guys Peace. Peace. Peace.